Hey friends, I hope wherever you are, you are warm. Good gosh, we're having like this crazy winter blast here in Richmond and it's like 33 degrees and the wind's blowing like 20 miles an hour and oh my gosh, it's a it's a great time to be snug up in my little tower bower working on journals. I have two ready to go in the shop today, y'all. Um, I wanted to thank you, thank you, thank you. Yesterday I posted two journals and, and they were sold and I just appreciate so much you guys supporting my art and my heart and my soul because this is truly what I just love to do. So thank you guys so much. This is a big, big Bertha journal. I finished her off with some funky beads uh, all of course glass beads except for these now these are powdered coral beads made in Ghana and I have a pile of these and I've been using them up they're such extraordinary beads because they're handmade and I just think they're so pretty such a pretty color as well it also features two lampwork beads um, this one and this one on the spine this one is rather um, rather intricate intricate and really really pretty I also decided that since I wasn't going to do cover art on this one that I would add some tassels and I I was recently at my sister's house and she had a Moroccan themed uh, guest room with like tassels and super duper colors and a pillow that I crazy fell in love with because it was an elephant pillow and I just thought it was so super cool but anyway it, it just um you know it reminded me that uh that I had some tassels so I added tassels to the front so let's do a flip through of course we start out with a little pocket this is a book and it has some writing paper on the inside of it I like this washi tape it says make today amazing uh, we've got some education ephemera I've got some playing cards in here um, I think that this is maybe a lesson in Spanish no 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 this is uh, from a vintage uh, plant magazine a horticulture kind of magazine I thought that was so super cool and of course I've got a little napkin here for you to play with I've got a skinny book We've got tags, lots of fun papers. I think this is the lesson in Spanish, categories. Mm, I've forgotten what this is. Oh, I know. It's like a, from Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel has, I think this one was from 2000, maybe. Um, this is a story about the Grand Ole Opry. Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. I think they have an almanac or something like that. And some map. Maps for you in case you want to go somewhere. I think we all kind of want to go somewhere warm this, <laughs> this time of year. I've got a lot of fibers in this book and a lot of funky cool fibers. This is vintage. Uh, a little bit of vintage tatting on some lace. And more skinny books and tags and some burlap sheets. I love those burlap sheets. They're so cool. Got a vintage bingo card and some stickers because we all got to have stickers. I kind of like the way this pocket turned out. You know, it was with the, the, um, the polka dots that you had over here. And this is a little treat bag that has a kitty on it. You know, I'm, I'm always in the Halloween spirit. I kind of like Halloween. But I used the treat bag to put some, um, some goodies in here for you. So you've got a, little, you've got a little goodie bag with a little kitty cat face on it. More paper. Some super cool bird stickers. A blue jay, a woodpecker, and a chickadee thought those were really pretty and these are planner elements and there's a calendar under here for you to um, to to utilize these are just called brights and they're super cool pull off little dots this is a make your own sticker sheet I've got some greeting cards. Do you remember? I don't know if you guys remember this. My mom collected green stamps. And I think this top value stamp is probably the same thing. But she would, there was a certain store in our town. And you could go there. And when you bought your groceries, you got green stamps. 
So mom used to collect green, green stamps, and then that's the way she bought things for for Christmas. We have some Chinese text here. This is a, a full pull-out page that says, What does it kill you makes you stronger? Something for you to color and contemplate. <laughs> Um, this is something that Dawn sent me. I thought it was so cute, so I cut it off the front of her envelope. More papers, Project Life cards. This is a vintage postcard. It's when uh, we all had buddy lists on AOL. Oh gosh, we've come a long way since then, haven't we? This is a beautiful piece of ephemera from 1929, and it has Santa Claus on it. Look at that. I'm sorry, I've got it, I've got it double secured in here. Let's take that out and just look at it for just a minute. And I love that it's, there's a note in pencil on the front that says six o'clock. I know. What's the significance of that? It's from Toronto, Canada, and it was to Mrs. Mary E. Beatty. Isn't that beautiful? I love things like that. I think it just, just evokes story. Starts your mind clicking right away. And then I've got a little piece of, I'm not, I'm not sure who the artist is here, you guys. This is an Italian, um, Italian calendar from 2011. And more paper, some Hebrew text, a little lunch bag with some fairies on it. Love the traveling things. So we do give a, a nod to travel in this book. This is a brochure from the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, along with a few more little goodies for you. This is a handmade tag. This is one of the first things that I ever did on YouTube. And I did it as part of a blog hop uh, with Shannon Green, a video hop with Shannon Green. Love Shannon Green. So I thought that would make a nice addition for this book. And I've got some plant items here and a stencil right here. Some more of that cool burlap in the back. And, you know, J. Peterman catalog. Love J. Peterman. Vintage sheet music. Flashcards. I think this was from, I think this was from Dawn as well. Um, cut out from a magazine. She's intriguing, isn't she? And more education ephemera. And a little bit, I think this is like a wine card that tells you about wines. This says white burgundy on it. This is from a photography magazine. And you've got a sim book in here, tags to play with. This is a complete card for a birthday, I believe. This is from the 1964 Ladies Home Journal magazine um, book that I have been just digging through. And another pocket in the back that has some just really pretty glittery kind of elements in it. I thought you guys would really enjoy that. And I love this image. I really don't know where she came from, but I just think it's super, super cool. And of course, no pockets in the back, but I will send you a bag of goodies to play with in your Big Bertha book. And Big Bertha is $42. And I should have her in the shop. Uh, later on this afternoon, this is, <laughs> okay, this is a combination junk journal, a flow journal, and a sketch journal. I have incorporated some 70-pound sketch paper, drawing paper, into this book. So let's take a look at it. It's not like a traditional size. It's also not covered with fabric, y'all. This one is, I used a scrunch technique a la Jenny Belly, and then just added some flowers to it. Um, this is something that I've had in my studio for, I don't know, for, for a couple months now, maybe a little bit longer, and just didn't quite know how to finish it. 
And then today I picked it up and was just really inspired to finish it. I think it reminds me of spring. And boy, I sure would love to have some spring right this moment. <laughs> I think we all would. It's finished with just kind of a hodgepodge of beads. There's a kitty cat bead right here that I uh, just wanted to point out because she kind of you know, kind of gets lost in the rest of the beads. But there she is right there, a little kitty cat bead. And of course, I really do try to use all glass beads. And I love using glass beads. I think it gives everything a lot of nice color and even sound. I like the way that glass beads sound. All right, guys, this is a six signature journal. It, like I said, it is a junk journal. It's made of um, desk papers. I think I used maybe, a, I don't know what kind of snack stuff came in here. Um, but it, it is like that combination of a junk journal, a flow journal, and a drawing journal as well. I have put things in the pockets, but I'll show you where the drawing papers start. And it is a 70 pound, 70 pound paper, so it should, you know, hold up pretty good. And of course, just goodies for you to play with. And I love this. Don't you love that? Like a mason jar. I love mason jars anyway. And just a little bit of ephemera. This is from the Dick and Jane reading books that I remember so well when I was six years old. I remember sitting in reading circle and I remember the first time it clicked and I could read and it was like I've never stopped. <laughs> I was five, six years old. Good gracious, that was a long time ago. Um, but boy, you know, I, I love to read and I just remember Dick and Jane and I remember when the whole thing just all kind of came together. And I, and I dig this washi tape, y'all. Um, this is, um, they're little geisha girls. They're so sweet. And I am almost at the end of it and I'm going to hate to see that go because I have never, ever seen any more. Um, we've got a little bit of, um vintage looking ephemera here this is i thought with the geisha girls it would be fun to put some chinese elements in here i don't know if geishas were chinese japanese um sometimes those cultures kind of meld together for me but i thought that everything on this um in this little pocket looked pretty cool together i've also started using some different fibers uh, and definitely a lot more lace and uh, lacy elements, um, some super cool ribbons, and that kind of thing. So in this journal, you're going to see a lot of new fibers. This is from a 1925 Sears Roebuck catalog. It talks about Honer harmonicas and more ephemera. This is 1946. Beautiful. I love this card, y'all. It says documented on it. Oh, that was really pretty. And some um, fiber paper for you. Like I said, there's a lot of space for you to draw and write. Um, so make the book your own. I think it's a wonderful thing to get a book and then to really dive into it and make it, make it your own creation because really, you know, it's your imagination that brings a book like this to life. More pages. Have some tags for you to play with. And then the last piece of ephemera here is from 1947. And I've got a little pad, a little notepad right here with um, a little clip right here. Like I said, now this is, you know, this is not the, um, the kind of journals that are covered with fabric. This is a very different kind of journal. Um, kind of junky, but a lot of fun. All right, guys, this one's 35, and Big Bertha is 42. I've also sold out of the Midori, uh, very small little, um, little Midori notebook kind of things that I was doing, so I am making more of these as well. Again, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to do what I love, love, love to do. And thank you for sharing your, um, your comments with me and 
Thanks for purchasing my journals and making them your own. You guys are a treasure to me. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.